All right. So I'm working on some new boards, and I'm really liking how they're turning out. Uh, I'm just going to kind of take you guys through how we make or how I make these boards. So I got two boards here. Now, this is one that I've been riding for a while. Pretty small. It's about three feet. I really like this one. And this is a mock-up that I did the other day. Everything's great about it, except the way I mounted it on the CNC. I used two screws. Um, obviously, that's not ideal, so I'm going to pretty much cut the same board, except without the screws. I'm going to try to use some double-sided tape. Hopefully, that's strong enough to hold this board down to the table, but I really like this one. Uh, so it's got, as opposed to this, where it's just a few boards glued together you can see if we go this way it's just three boards glued together uh, that's nice but it's not ideal sometimes you know it gets it warps a bit um, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of that style so what I did here is I actually have I think it's 23 separate uh, strips glued together and it, it comes out so much flatter it's a lot nicer. I really like the look of it better too. And um, you know, I can add different types of wood to get a nice stripe pattern down the line. And I designed this, this is completely designed on the computer. So it's got a really, it's just a way better shape than the older boards. And then I can also, with the use of the CNC, get an exact 90 millimeter slot down here to mount the foil to. Uh, that's a huge help, it's, it's just such a, much better feature as opposed to the old way I was doing it. You can see I kind of hacked in here a few times to make adjustments. Um, but I was just, you, you know, drilling holes, putting the inserts in. It was kind of hard. I had to like quadruple check measurements to make sure it was exactly 90, 90 millimeters apart. But this is just so much better. So we're kind of just going to montage it, I guess, and go through, you know, show how this is cut so i already went through the process of cutting these strips and gluing them all together so this is kind of how the boards start out really it's just a, a rough blank like this with a whole bunch of strips glued up it really makes for a much better board so i'm going to take this mount it throw it on the machine see how it does So step one is we're just going to use this facing bit here to completely face the top side of this board. And that gets this side completely flat. And then we're gonna flip it over, do the other side, then we're gonna cut out the shape. So now that is perfectly flat okay so I now have the board program pulled up here this has been flattened on both sides and I've now taped it double-sided tape and it seems to be on there pretty well so I'm gonna see how it does as we run it I'm probably gonna slow down the router a bit just so there's not so much force on it and we're gonna get the bottom side of this board shaped So as the machine gets buzzing away on that board, there is another thing, another type of board I've been curious about trying for a while now, and I just finally have the uh, ability to give it a try, I guess. Um, and that's a chambered board. So I have these glued up, and uh, right now it's these two are glued up, these two are glued up, these two are glued up. So when I take all the clamps off, I'll have... Uh, separate chunks and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those and I'm going to put them on the machine and mill them out and I've seen a couple boards like this I really like it I think it's pretty cool and this is just some test cuts I did the other day so the, whole, the board will be obviously hollow in the middle um, so it'll give the board more volume more bulk while also saving weight so I think that would be pretty cool especially if you get, if, you know, I were to make a bigger board, I think it would be a lot more advantageous to have this. Um, but that's something I'm go going to give a try. I'm not quite sure when it will be 
done and ready, but I'm just going to get chugging along on it. I'm just getting the process started right now. So that'll be pretty cool as it comes along. All right, so this is right out of the machine. I just gave the edges a little bit of a hand sand because that's what you need to do. So that tape obviously worked. Uh, it held everything down real nice. And I am just loving the way this looks. Now this is, I already just gave it a, a once over with some sandpaper. So everything's nice and smooth, ready to be glassed. And this is what I love about this board the best. So these are the 90 millimeter tracks. It's kind of the industry standard for this type of, uh, for mounting a foil, but we have this. So you can just slot, put your inserts in and slide them to where you're going to mount your foil. So if you have a 110 millimeter space in front to back, right? It's already 90. You can just easily put these inserts in there slide them to where you're want, gonna want them. And if you wanna be able to move the foil, you can easily put a set back here and then another set up here. So you have two different sets. So if you wanna slide the, forward, if you, the foil a few inches forward, you easily can. I'm gonna do that because I'm gonna be using this board for two different foils. Um, so yeah, that just really like how it came out. And I'm glad I finally figured out a that the tape can work to hold this as it gets machined because that makes everything a lot easier those holes even though they wouldn't have been a problem uh it's just you know it kind of stinks to see two holes so it's nice that this cleaned up perfectly all right so an end of the day update here is that board that i just glassed up really loving how it's looking And then I got a little bit more work done on that chambered board that I'm experimenting with. And we'll see how it comes out. So you can see here we have some of the chambers in. Some of the first, I did the two outsides here and then these two I've done as well. And then so the very outermost layers are solid. Right, and so these are gonna go here. So the idea is chamber them all out like these, and then glue them all together, and then give the board its final shape. And I'm not, I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty light, because this piece is pretty light. And again, I'm gonna take down couple millimeters on the top a couple millimeters on the bottom so this will get thinner a lot of this won't be here a lot of this will be um, trimmed as well and then you know one layer of glass on the whole thing and it'll be interesting to see how it turns out so that's gonna be it for the day this is kind of my first in the day type video I, I don't know if I'll keep doing them or not, but <laughs> we'll find out.